Hey guys, uh, this is Matt. And I'm Freddie. And you're watching this and that with Freddie and Matt. Hey guys, so, today 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 we have a uh, very special guest, Freddie. You like to introduce him? Yeah. So uh, we're going to be chatting with Tim Moore here, and um, how I how we came to be chatting with Tim was uh, we're all in the same one of the same Facebook groups. Uh, it's the uh, the podcast in stone, which was uh, Chuck and Jason used to do the uh, interviews with all the Iced Earth members. So we're in that Facebook group, and I saw Tim posting a lot in there. And it, I think at one time, Tim, you had posted that you're blind, and you're talking about something about you know metal and stuff. I'm like, it might be interesting, you know, because I don't know uh, personally what that's like, uh, Matt. I don't know what your experience is, but we thought it'd be really interesting to to understand how a blind person experiences heavy metal, you know, concerts and artwork, you know, kind of just want to pick your brain about that. And for, for, for those, excuse me, for those of us that really have no clue. So, yeah. So Tim Moore, how you doing? Hey, man? doing great. <laughs> so if you don't mind, you know, just uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. All right. Well, to start, I am 39. I have a visual impairment. My visual impairment, for those who are wondering, I have retinopathy of prematurity, which means I was born premature, and the retina in my left eye is, part, is totally detached, which means I'm totally blind in that eye, so I'm unable to see anything. I just see black in that eye, so it's it's dead, so to speak. There's nothing they can do. Um, in the right eye, however, my retina is partially detached. Um, my vision a long time ago, it used to be 20 over a thousand, which is on the cusp of total blindness. And then in 1998, uh, three days, some days before Halloween, they did a cataract surgery, which brought my vision to 20 over 250. Now, for the first time ever, I had you know, never been able to see uh, the changing of the leaves, fireworks on the 4th of July, Christmas lights. And after the surgery, I was like, I'm getting this eye patch off because they made me wear an eye patch you know, I guess to let, let things heal properly. So I take the patch off, I rip that thing off, and I'm just amazed by what I was seeing, the leaves, the colors of the leaves. Um, and my mom cried because she uh, was just, I guess, happy for me, you know, being able to have that vision mm -hmm. that I had never had up to that point. Uh -huh. So... Now the vision is 20 over 400, so to explain it, where you and Matt could see things from 400 feet, I got to see, th I have to be 20 feet or closer. I got you. Okay. But still, that's, that's still pretty miraculous, man. You were able to go from not being able to see anything to being able to see something. That, and, uh, you know, as a, as a parent, I definitely understand, you know, your mom's perspective of that, man, uh, and wanting, you know, wanting the best for you. And that's, oh, yeah. that's, 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 that's huge, man. That's huge. Oh, yeah. And so how old, I'm sorry, how old was this uh, surgery you had? I was 15, oh, you're 15 at the time. Okay. At the time. <clears throat> so. Now, when did you start getting into metal music? All right. I got into metal about 1997. I discovered Metallica for the first time. I was attending the Kentucky School for the Blind in Louisville, which, again, for those who don't know, it's a residential school for students who are blind or visually impaired. And... I was in the recreation building. Some of my friends were listening to Metallica. I was like, what's this? And they told me who it was and what the name of the CD was. It was the Black Album, Inner Sandman. And nothing else matters. And I'm like, okay, I'm buying this. So I went home, went to the local Walmart, bought it that weekend. And I think my mother regrets me ever buying that. Because from, <laughs> then, on, from then on, it was like every week I was buying new Metallica albums. <laughs> All right. Nice. Good for you. So, and good for them. <laughs> and then, cool. uh, all right. <laughs> and so, uh, what age was this? Uh, you... This was 14. Okay. So, before you had your surgery, you were already a metalhead. Yep. Gotcha. Before then, I was listening to classic uh, rock, you know, Led Zeppelin, the Eagles, which I still listen to from time to time. But metal is my go-to. It's, it's From that point on, that was the go-to thing, you know? Yeah. It was metal. And so what other bands did you start getting into after Metallica? After Metallica, let's see, Disturbed, Godsmack, Alice in Chains, uh, Union Underground, 
Um, let's see, Deftones, Pantera, um, just a bunch of different stuff. Because I would listen to a radio station called The Fox in Louisville. And that's how I would get a lot of my, uh, a lot of my music uh, discovery was through that. And then but at that time, I'm sure you all remember peer-to-peer CD networks, you know, when you could just download music off the internet for free. We remember it, and Lars Ulrich remembers it. Yeah, yes. Lar- yep, yeah. yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so sure. at the time, I was a, a DJ for the school radio station. So I needed music for my show. So I would come home on the weekends and just burn CDs like crazy and just download all this stuff. I'm like, oh, wow. But see, what I would do is if I liked it enough, I would buy the CD itself, legit. Well, that's good. And support the artist. Thank you. <laughs> Hey Tim. Yeah. Hey, if if you wouldn't mind, man, could you just uh, pan your 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 uh, camera up just a little bit? Because we'd like to we'd like yeah, to see perfect. you. Yeah, you were you were it was right. kind of going going into your chest a little bit. So we'll, All right. we'll edit that a little. We'll edit okay. a little bit out, and it'll yeah. swing All in right. a little smoother. If that's okay. That'll work. That'll I appreciate work. it, man. That sure. perfect, sure. man. Perfect. Sure. So see, so, so a lot of our you know, especially me and you know, my and Max experience because we're older than you grew up and we'd go to a store and we'd see an album cover and mm. maybe we didn't even know have never heard of the band before but the album cover is cool as hell so you oh, buy yeah. it because of that so we're wondering what your experience was with that because maybe you might not have been able to just look at an album cover and buy it based on that well with well with that you know starting off i wouldn't really judge my purchasing based on album covers it would be based on the song i would hear Right. Um, a lot of the times, but now later on, when I got my vision, and I could see album covers <clears throat> and things like that, I would. This was a uh, about the time. Let's see, two thousand four. I discovered a band called Ice Earth. I'm sure you guys are familiar with them. <laughs> uh, uh-huh. The Glorious Burden. I, I learned about that album, and I'm like, oh, it's going to be a history album. Tim Owens is going to be on it. Oh, yeah, sign me up for that. So I went to uh, Sam Goody, pre-ordered it. I I saw the album artwork, and I'm like, oh, wow, this is amazing. And, you know, before that, uh, let's see, the Disturbed, uh, the Sickness album cover really struck me as being just awesome. Um, Let's see. There's just been a variety, but I would say the first one that really got me was the Glorious Burdens album cover. So, it, in a lighthearted way, is it uh, ironic or coincidental that the first album you owned was the Black Album, which had nothing on the cover? <laughs> I think it was kind of a bit of both, because right. uh, <laughs> I thought there would be some sort of a of a thing, a picture on it. But then when I saw it, I'm like, oh, there's nothing. My mom was like, oh, there's nothing on there, because she described it. Before I got my vision back, you know, my mother and my late brother would describe the the album artwork to me. Yeah, you oh, know, that's and cool. Then, yeah. You know, which you know really helped. Uh, so yeah, uh, that was a bit of both irony and coincidence. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but the music was great, though. Oh yeah, the best Absolutely. album ever made. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fantastic. So, so Tim, you're also you're so your 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 handle is uh, you're a metal gamer. So, what's the what's what's the uh, what's the other side of that? What's the what's the gaming aspect? Uh, okay, blind metal gamer. I got that as that from it's kind of an interesting story. I had a YouTube channel. And I was going under my real name. I figured no big deal. Well, some uh, jerk got my information, got my address, and was putting it out there in the chat. I'm like, how's this happening? One of my friends who has sight, who's fully sighted. I uh, was like, you might want to end what you're doing. So I ended it, and she was like, is that your address? I'm like, oh, crap. And uh, so it kept happening. And so I had to delete that old YouTube. Turns out someone got it. And as I was freaking out in panic mode, getting everything deleted, oh, no, uh, my mother walks into the room. At 1030 at night, did you order a pizza? Nope. And someone delivered a Domino's pizza to my house. What kind of pizza? I don't know, because oh. I didn't accept it. You're leaving but out they, the important stuff here, Tim. <laughs> hey, but the, the the driver got cussed out, though. <laughs> oh, no. Poor guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, you know, I had to make a new channel. So that's the gamer aspect. 
the blind and metal is expensive, but the gamer part, I've been a gamer since I was a child because they used it, the video games, to help with hand-eye coordination. So I uh, did that, and uh, I got the channel made, got everything set up, and everything blocked so that can't happen again. Um, because God forbid we don't want no more pizzas or SWAT right. teams to deliver to the house. <laughs> yeah. So SWAT team with pizza. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> so uh, the gamer aspect, I've been a gamer since I was a child. I'm, at one point, I had every generation of console in my house. Um, I currently own a PS5, and I do stream on Twitch. And uh, I've dabbled a little bit in YouTube streaming once again. I'm going to work on maybe getting back into that with some uh, much-needed modifications to get things monitored a little better because their security is not the greatest. Uh, it's for my favorite games. I like uh, Mortal Kombat, Resident Evil, um, the wrestling games that come out, uh, Castlevania. Uh, it's just a variety, and here recently, just today, I've got a new game I ordered called Thymesia, which I'm gonna be streaming tonight. I had Thymesia once, and it went away after about two days. No, yeah. this is a, a rage-inducing Souls-like role-playing game that if yeah, it was rage inducing. All right. <laughs> if, if either of you or your kids are gamers, it'll make you want to throw your controller and say things I will not say on this interview. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, say what you need to say. We we don't we don't we don't mind. I know, but I want to keep it cool and professional. You know. All right, I always all right. throw my controller and I yell. This game is very frustrating. I am not amused. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I yell. Kind of. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> With a few more words peppered in there. Sort of. Yeah, so so Tim, we were you know we were talking a little bit before the interview and all that, but you know obviously if you have anything uh, anything to promote, um, you know anything that any links to anything, you know you can give that to us. We'll make sure we put that, you know, up underneath the uh, underneath this this video so that folks can find that. So uh, if you do have anything like that, please let us know. And if you have anything special interest groups or anything like that that you'd like to promote right now, uh, vocally, good. Please oh, yes. Me. Oh, yes. Uh, okay. As for special interest groups, I am, am I work for the Commonwealth Council on Development of Disabilities. I am their front desk manager and note taker, and also I am a stable ambassador for the Stable Kentucky Program, which is Kentucky's ABLE program. And I'm an employee, an a employment education ambassador, which is, um, in, you know, educating people on competitive integrated employment for people with disabilities. And for those of you who are unaware, the uh, ABLE, the, uh, ABLE Act, the ABLE programs, are special accounts called ABLE accounts for people with disabilities, where people with disabilities such as myself can save up to $100,000 in special accounts called ABLE accounts. And you can spend the money on qualified disability expenses such as medical, dental, um, education, transportation, uh, supports and services, rent, you know, food, things like that. Uh, but, you know, here in Kentucky, you can spend your money, your ABLE account on, you know, those things. Plus, if you have um, assistive technology like um, my iPhone, I'm, we're recording on now. Uh, I got that through my stable account. And stable's a great thing. So if there's any type of information that anyone would want, go to www.ablenrc.org. That's the ABLE National Resource Center. And this program, the ABLE program, is a state-by-state -state thing, so it's varying from each state. So just go there, look up your state's ABLE program, and see if you qualify or if your loved ones qualify. If they do, or if you do, sign up for your ABLE program and get to saving today. And it does not... These ABLE accounts do not affect your Medicaid or SSI benefits. So they will not get taken away. Nice. Okay. Yeah. And like I said, yeah, we'll put a link below so everybody can see the website and stuff down there. Oh, yeah. And, uh, I, I was listening to Troy's episode and he mentioned his son with autism and I got a friend with autism. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so I thought, you know, Hmm, I wonder, I thought, I didn't know if, you know, they might know about that. So I figured, you know, I'll use this opportunity to um, 
spread the word and all that good stuff. And I do support real work for real wages. And I believe that subminimum wage is something that needs to be a thing of the past and sheltered employment. Um, there needs to be change with that model as well. Gotcha. Cool, Pretty cool man. I did have another couple of, if you don't mind, sure. I know we, on this show, we just kind of jump all over the place. Like if a thought hey, pops in our head, Ask yeah, if a thought pops in our head, we, no matter what categories. So do you go to, or have you been to concerts? Yes, I have been to two concerts. Uh, the first concert I saw, this was after, um, this was, let's see, the year that I graduated high school, 2002, was Kid Rock and Tenacious D in Louisville, Kentucky. And I went with two, some cousins of mine. We all had a good time. We all went out to eat. And then we all went to the show at Freedom Hall, saw Tenacious D, saw Kid Rock. And then I wanted to get a shirt. You know, this is my first concert. Got to get the T-shirt. So I, I wanted to get one that would be safe, you know, for school. I was going to public school at the time. And um, by the way, quick shout out to the Franklin County High School class of, the, of uh, 2002. This is our 20 year anniversary. So shout out to you guys nice. in that. So uh, I get the shirt and I'm thinking, okay, this is Kid Rock. So we look at it and it had the middle finger sticking up on the back. <laughs> and we're all freaking out like, oh God, can't wear this. So I get home, mom and one of my cousins, you know, they had, had a few too many adult refreshments. And, well, they thought that they were dreaming, so I showed them the shirt again. And my mother was like, you didn't. <laughs> she freaked out. <laughs> and then my second concert was Godsmack and Metallica in 2004 again at Freedom Hall, and it was great. It was just an amazing experience. So what was it like? Because, you know, it's they're very visual. Did you did you get to go up close? Did you, you know, how did you see it? I was in what they called accessible seating. So okay. I could see it, you know, from a distance. You know, okay. I could hear the pyro. I could hear the music. And, uh, you know, Kid Rock, you know, was very descriptive. He would always, you know, kind of <laughs> intro into what he was going to play, in a sense. And this was right after Josie passed away. So, you know, that was a big thing. And then the Metallica and uh, Godsmack concert was real good. They didn't really like intro their music as much, but I, I still figured out what they were going to play because I recognized all the songs. Right. So, you know, I was singing along with the crowd, you know, I was really into it. And then, uh, um, you know, as for the concerts I planned to see, you know, that I want to go and see that's on the bucket list. Ice to Earth, whenever they get back to Roman. Um, Ashes of Aries, Into Eternity, Disturbed, Judas Priest, which a certain girlfriend has done said no oh. <laughs> to that. <laughs> yep, she said no. So when she says no, that that, that goes. So, oh, boy. Yep. But, you know, uh, concerts for me are, you know, interesting experiences. And, you know, nowadays with YouTube and things, or Twitch, a lot of these artists will stream live that way. Um, mm -hmm. You really don't have to go anywhere to to watch the concert. You can just listen from your home. Yep. You know, so. That's yeah, and it's, and it's a it's a good thing. I mean, I, I, think, it's a, I think it's a really nice thing um, that a lot of groups do that as well. Uh, because, you know, you have to realize that not everybody's going to be able to get out to a concert. Um, right oh yeah and, and that and that may be you know one of the reasons why you know concert tickets are a little higher in some in some re regards and that's fine i mean I, you know, oh yeah oh yeah it's okay to it's okay to pay a little bit more so long as you know people can see yeah. stuff or you know Just or hold hold the concert till or you know hold the hold the uh, video until after the the tour is done and then release it or something like that so people right can get that way people can see it live and then the video is there for later yep yep so, and sometimes oh, yeah. it's, sometimes it's nice to, even if you get to go to the concert and see the show to still to, you know, relive it again on video after, after. Oh yeah. Uh, it's, oh it's yeah. Nice that, that's that. even better. Um, real quick. Uh, some of my favorite ice earth artwork past Boris burden. I love the framing Armageddon, the crucible of man artwork. Uh, the incredible artwork is awesome. And, uh, the, uh, dystopia artwork is awesome too. 
So shout out to Tattoo Dave for that. Tattoo Dave. Tattoo Dave. <laughs> I've yeah. never got a tattoo in my life, and I probably don't want to. They probably hurt. Yeah, it just yeah. depends. Depends where you get it and what you get it of. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. ho, ho. <laughs> no, that's not. That's not even being dirty. Like the back of your arm. I know. I know. I know. I know. Thin, but, you know. This I know, I know. We're not I talking, know. welcome to Jamaica, have a nice day tattoos. We're just talking, you know. <laughs> I you know. know, I know, I know. Trust me, that's know. funny if you don't get it. Anyway. I, I uh, get it, I get it. I was just sharing a good laugh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, well, cool, Tim. Uh, anything else? I mean, it's been it's been cool chat. We think it's been informative. You know, it's you've answered some of the stuff I've always wondered and never got to ask. All right. Well, real quick, I do have a link to with all my social media and my Twitch. My Spotify, my Anchor FM for my podcast, um, my YouTube, my Twitter, my Instagram, and I have a blog talk radio show that I got one episode done. I'm going to do more of those in the future. So that will be provided in the description on the YouTube video. I hope everybody has a great day, and I will see you guys on any of the mission platforms in the link tree that you choose to follow me on. All right, Tim. All right, Tim. Pleasure talking to you, man. You too. See ya. Later.